everybody and what is up it's Kayla I have a surprise I know I always have surprises for you guys but this is this one I'm really excited about it's not a Fenty video but next week there'll be a Fenty video I promise today we're going to be working with the Winky Lux Galaxy eyeshadow palette and it is just I think the packaging is just so super cute and so adorable and on the back shows you all the shades and their names so I'm going to read them to you. We have Milky Way which is this shade right here. We have Stardust that whitish opal kind of shade right there. We have Cosmic which is like a silver. We have Stellar which is like a charcoal silver I believe. We have Galactic, which is one shade lighter, I believe, than the one right next to it. So this shade's a little bit lighter than this shade. And then we have Astro Cat. I think that's such a cute little name, Astro Cat. Here, underneath that, we have Meowsters, Meowder Space. Here, next to that, we have Eclipse, which I believe is a blackish gray shade. And then we have Retrograde right here. So I'm gonna open up the palette. I'm not gonna swatch them because I, I don't wanna like waste the, um, and it has a nice mag magnetic pull to it. So snap, and it stays shut nicely. So this is what the palette looks like. Look at that gorgeous smoky goodness. Look at that, check that out. So the shade that I'm going to go in with first is going to be, I'm going to go in with Milky Way, which is this first shade right here. I'm going to go in with that shade with my Sonia Kashuk Small Eyeshadow Brush. I'm going to see how... I hear that these are very, very pigmented, guys, so if you have this palette, or if you plan on picking up this palette, always tap off the excess, and then tap off the excess a little bit. I'm going to use the mirror that I have here. Ooh, it's pretty. I, like, I do like this shade. Gonna go back in with it a little more to get, pick up, up to get a little more color payoff. Oh, if if you're new, I welcome you and I thank you for scrolling on by. If you have not yet subscribed, please subscribe. You won't miss a video. I post at least two videos a week. Sometimes three. It depends. I have an 18 month old son, so that gets a little. It could interfere with it. But we're gonna look at that color payoff. Look how nice. Sometimes I like to just drag it over the brow just a little bit so it gives it that shimmer right underneath the brow. I think it's very pretty. It's very, it's very, it's light, but it's supposed to be light, so. Placing this all over my lid as a base to work with and build upon. I'm going to do the same on this side. Wow, look at that. That's such a beautiful light shade. It's such a great shade as a base. I really feel it is. 
such a great shade to work off of and build upon with the other shades. They both match. One looks like it has more than the other. But the next shade that I'm going to go in with is going to be Cosmic, which is this light gray over here. This is Cosmic. I'm going to go in with that shade next. And I'm going to place this in my crease with the same brush, but I used the opposite side. Smoke it out a little bit over here in the corner, the outer corner. It's pretty. I'm just gonna. So the reason I, the reason I'm adding this shade as my crease shade is to give it some dimension, and I feel it's a really nice shade. And it, that I feel that these two shades really go together. Smoke it out towards the end of the brow, just a little bit. Ooh, I like that. Very pretty. I'm going to do the same on this eye. Very nice. The next sheet I'm going to go in with um, is going to be, let's see, I'm going to go in with Astro Cat. I'm going to this shade right here. I'm going to put it on the outer corners with the same brush. Smoke it out a little bit. I'm gonna drag it just slightly towards the middle, but not too much. It's pretty, very pretty. I'm gonna go in with that same shade, Astro Cat. Go in the outer corners. I'm 
I like how this is coming out so far. Smoky goodness, that's what I really like to say. Smoky goodness. I'm gonna go in a little bit more with that same shade just to kind of darken and deepen it up. I'm going with a darker shade again in the outer corner, but I'm going to use a different shade this time. I'm going to go in with this really pretty glittery charcoal gray called Retrograde. it out to the brow and drag it down here towards the lid just a little bit not too much just a little bit I'm gonna try to do a cat eye look I like a smoky cat eye Same on the slit. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. I'm going to do that cat eye shape. This brush is so tiny, but it does really, it works wonders. I'm going to bring it up here a little bit, on the, right under the brow, just a little bit, kind of give it that smoky dimension effect. I'm going to fix this eye over here a little bit. I'm gonna kind of blend this a little bit more, so they kind of. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Of it. Hang on. My tricky. Ooh, I like that. I'm gonna touch up a little bit on this side. I'm gonna take Eclipse, which is the shade of it. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna take Eclipse, which is, oops, sorry guys, the dark shade, the black shade right there. Just a little bit, not too much, because this one I, I've heard and I've watched a few videos on, it's very pigmented. So I can't go too crazy. I just want to darken out these outer corners a little bit. I like this. That looks 
sick. Same on this side. That looks so good. Touching this up a little bit. And then I'm going to take a different brush for my little Mac brush holder, or one of them brother. I'm going to find me a, this is my mini tapered blending brush, so we're going to use the brush too. I need to grab another brush. gonna take this brush first. This is my Farrah three mini tapered blending brush. I'm just gonna, without any additional product, I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit. Give it that smoky effect. Take, this is my Eco Tools dual ended brush. This, this, this I use sometimes for my brows, but we're gonna use this shade. I'm just gonna, it's clean, it's just, it's just stain, but it is clean. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this shade Galactic, which is in the middle, this middle shade right here. It's not as dark as it looks um, on the pan. It, it's actually a little bit lighter. It's going on lighter than it is in the pan, which is fine because I was kind of. It's very pretty. It's so beautiful. Look at that shade. I'm just applying this a little bit on my lower lid. And then I'm going to top it off with a really pretty white opal shade on top. gonna kind of blend it into the top part that I did here. Okay. And then my next shade I'm gonna go I'm gonna top it off with Stardust. This is this really pretty white shade.
That looks beautiful like that. I love this. I'm really loving this look. I'm like obsessed with this look right now. I'm gonna go back in with that same shade. Just a little bit more. I'm gonna pack it on instead of swipe, like sweeping it on, because it's actually gonna look more, gonna have a better color payoff when you dab it with certain types of shades. Guys, this looks awesome. Look at that. I'm gonna finish up my eyeliner. I'm gonna, well, finish up. I'm gonna do my eyeliner and my mascara, and then I'm gonna hop back on camp. So I'll be right back, guys. Guys, I'm back. So this is the final look when uh, when I use this awesome Winky Lux Galaxy Smoky Eyeshadow Palette, and my eyes. This is probably the best smoky eye I've ever seen. I love it. And I hope you guys do too. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, comment below. And I will happily answer them as quick as possible. Thank you again. For, thank you so much for watching. Really. It really warms my heart when somebody takes the time to just watch. Even if it's half of one of my videos. or It really means a lot to me. So I thank you guys and I love you all and hope you all have a great day. I'll see you guys next week.